sawdust in here. A little wipe down on the three horsepower right there, you know. That's that Doug Thornhill engine right there. Got that up for his estate sale. Little patch of rare. Rare no high. But this is, uh, and that's the side trip for the last day or so. Is uh, Langstroth design, eight frame medium. Uh, that'll be two brood chambers right there. Run two brood chambers. And this will be a honey super. That'll be a honey super. And then up there, that's a high top feeder right there I got built up for. Then the top goes up on there. <clears throat> I'm going to put where them kind of top goes up like that right there on that, like that right there. I should have done had it built, but I don't, but I'm going to. <clears throat> but I have another top I can put on it. Go ahead and put this in surface if I don't get that done. Spring is here. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn that in grade right there. Way it turned out. I'll put some of that clear gloss polyurethane on that there beehive right there. So I'm going to turn this in for a grade. Leave a comment down there. I'm going to question them bees about it too. Half from here, in Middle Tennessee. The geographical center of something. I'll present this beehive kind of officially here on YouTube. I'm going to bend up one of them aluminum trays that'll slide right up in there. I got that screen up in up in the bottom right there so a high bill can come down there and get in that tray and I can slide it right out there. That's the reason for that. Or if you want a solid bottom, then you just slide a piece of plywood in there or a piece of that poster board plastic stuff uh, for any reason. Just slide it right in there if you want to. I'll leave a comment. Now let's build another one now.